Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and today I'll be showing you how to make all of these modded outfits on screen without the transfer glitch in GTA 5 Online. So you won't lose any of your outfits by doing this, so I hope you do enjoy. If you do, a like would be much appreciated. Also, feel free to let me know down below which outfit is your favourite in today's video. Anyway though, before we get into it, shout out to all of these people on screen for commenting the hashtag TJRH on my last video. So to start the video off, I'll be showing you how to make this red joggers outfit right here with the invisible torso that does stick. Uh, so I'll show you first how to get the red joggers. So what you need to do is you just want to have someone to help you. So what they need to do is they need to go into their MOC. So they'll need an MOC. They want to go to the computer in their MOC and start the mission called Work Dispute. Once they have that, they want to invite you and then you want to join them. So just make sure you are the second person to join. And from here, they need to start up the mission. Now you should load into the cargo plane and from here you'll notice you have the red joggers. Uh, so from here you want to get out of the plane and then you want to fly over to one of your apartments. So you'll need to know where it is as they don't show up on the minimap. So just head over to your apartment. Once you're over here, go on the blue circle, place a sticky bomb and then blow yourself up. Now when you spawn back in, just head back into your apartment and you want to head down to the wardrobe inside of your apartment. Now in the wardrobe you want to go ahead and save this outfit to any slot so it doesn't matter, just save it and from here you can quit the job using your phone. From here all you need to do is you want to go ahead and open up your interaction menu, equip the outfit you just saved and you'll notice it is uh, fully saved with the red joggers. Now that we have the red joggers, what you want to do is go to any clothing store on the map and equip your red joggers, then head over to shoes. You want to go onto the arena wall shoes. Go for the black and red light ups. Once you have these, you want to head over to the top section. On here, you just want to equip no top. So head onto any of the top menus and then equip no top. Once you have this, you want to head down to utility vests, then go for number 43. So the peach plate carrier, this one here. Once you have this, you also want to go onto gloves, then equip the red and grey armoured. Now go ahead and save this to any slot. Once you have saved it, head down to Outfits, Heist, Coveralls, and then equip any of the last four, so any of these with a gas mask. After you have one, go to the telescope on the pier. But before we go there, I do just want to quickly mention, if you guys would like any of your own modded accounts that come with modded outfits on them and plenty of cash and RP, definitely check out MitchCactus.com. These modded accounts come with cash ranging from 50 million all the way to 1 billion, and almost all of the modded accounts now are 100% cash, so no need for extra cars and deluxos. They also offer account boosts, which is amazing because you can get an already existing account boosted with tons of money and RP. These guys have over 4,500 reviews on their official Trustpilot page and are by far the most highly reputable modders. I'll leave a link to the website in the description below and also the pinned comment. Also, don't forget you can use my code TJRH for 5% off your order for a limited time only. Now back to the video, you want to do the telescope glitch, so run by the telescope, spam right on the d-pad. Once you've done this, open up your interaction menu and you want to go ahead and equip the outfit you just saved. Then run away and you'll notice a gas mask merges onto it, so from here go to the mask store. Now over here, go onto any of the menus and then save your outfit in the same slot as you saved it in, in the clothing store, so overwrite the save. After you've done so, just open up your pause menu, go to online, and then head on to jobs. Go on to play job, rockstar created, head down to missions, and then start up a titan of a job. Now in the mission you want to head over to a specific ammunition store on the map. So I'll show you it right now. It is this one here, so make sure it is this exact uh, location.
Now go inside of ammunition and then go to the middle and go on the gear section. You want to equip the first earpiece, then equip the second earpiece. And you'll notice you get this hood on your outfit. Now head over to this soda machine and press right on the D-pad. By the way, I'll be showing you how to make this invisible torso once we get it, uh, how to make it to stick so it will stay invisible. Anyway, from here, once you've done that, you want to head over to the shoes section and then just change your shoes. So if you already have the shoes you want equipped, which we do, uh, you just want to change shoes and then change back to the other shoes. So just like that, and you'll notice you get an invisible torso with this crew top. So I'll show you how to remove that top. So just head over to the top section and then from here, head down to utility vests, equip any one of these and then equip no top again or no utility vest rather and then go ahead and save this outfit. Now before we carry on with the glitch, what you want to do in this mission is customize your outfit how you want it. So add whatever mask and helmet you want to add onto this outfit. So make sure you stay in the mission while you do this. You can do the telescope glitch to add helmets onto it. So let's say you have the red bulletproof helmet, equip an outfit with the red bulletproof helmet, do the telescope glitch and then equip this outfit, run away and it will merge onto it, just like this Tron helmet merged on. Um, but from here you want to go and save the outfit. After you've made the outfit how you want it and you've saved it, you just want to quit the job using your phone. Now from here you'll be able to equip the outfit in free mode. However, the only thing is, it will not stay invisible for a long time. However, it will stay invisible in missions. But if you do want it to stick and stay invisible in free mode, I'll show you a way to do that right now. So you'll need to request your Kosaka and then go to it. Then in your Kosaka, you want to find any scuba gear on the wall and then register as a CEO. You want to go to the scuba gear on the wall and then hover over your outfit that has the invisible torso that we just made. Equip it and then press right d-pad to equip the scuba gear then open up your interaction menu go to your ceo style switch one to the right then back out on the interaction menu press right on the d-pad to remove the scuba gear and you'll notice you get this outfit now and this time the invisible torso will stick so you can completely roam around in free mode with this fully invisible torso that does stay invisible and it won't reappear and the only time it will reappear is if you change sessions or if you quit the session or the game and then restart. Also, if you retire from your CEO, it will not stay invisible. But you can just redo this very easy glitch each time you want it. So that's it for this outfit. Now let's move on to the next outfit. So next up, we have this black joggers outfit here with a trash vest in GTA 5 online and also logos on it. So I'll be showing you how to get a black joggers first. To start off the video, I'm going to show you quickly how to get a black joggers. Uh, so you want to go to your MOC. And then from here, you want to go on the computer at the back of your MOC, start up the mission called Work Dispute. Then in the mission, you want to invite anyone and then start this up. You should spawn in with the black joggers on this outfit here, so you want to go and fly to one of your apartments, so you'll need to know where they are as they don't show up on a minimap. Once you're at your apartment, you want to go to the blue circle and then you want to just place a sticky bomb and then blow yourself up. Now when you spawn in this time, it should let you go inside of your apartment. So go on the blue circle and it should let you inside. As you can see, it should work. You should go inside and then from here, you want to go to your apartment wardrobe. Now in here, just go ahead and save your outfit, name it whatever you want to name it. Uh, and then after you saved it, quit the job using your phone. And then open up your interaction menu and you will be able to equip that same outfit. And it has the black joggers on it. Anyway, to make the outfit, you want to equip your black joggers. Then head over to shoes, called sports shoes. You want to go for the orange kicks. So once you have those, you want to head over to the gloves section. Now on gloves, you want to go for the black woolen gloves. 
from here you want to head over to the top section, head down to your tank tops. Then on here you want to go up to the black no retreat tank. So just up here, this one with a logo on it. And then from here you need to save this outfit in slot number 1. So make sure it is slot 1. And after you do have this, you want to head down to the designer t-shirts. And then make sure you have the black BITCH t-shirt purchase, so number 7. From here you want to head over to any of your apartment wardrobes. In here you want to equip the outfit you saved in slot number 1. Once you have it, you want to head down to tops, and then head down to the designer t-shirts. Now hover over this one and you want to hover over it for about 10 seconds. Once you do that, just open up your pause menu, head over to Cruise on Online. You want to go down to the leaderboard, go on any of the crews and hit View Members. On any of the members, just hit Join Game. The logo from the t-shirt should have merged onto the tank top now, so from here you want to go to a clothing store. Then in here you want to go to the accessories menu, go onto scarves and then equip the black desert scarf. Once you have this you want to head down to utility vests on tops and then go for number 43. It should be the peach plate carrier so this one here. Once you have this you want to go ahead and save this in slot number 1 so overwrite the save. Now that you have it saved you want to go down to outfits, heist, cover rules and then equip any of the last 4. So any of those with a gas mask, any of these in the bottom here. Once you have one, go to the telescope on the pier. At the telescope on the pier, you want to run by the telescope, spam right on the D-pad, you should be standing still, so from here open up your interaction menu. You want to go over to style and then equip the outfit you just saved. Run away and you'll notice a gas mask emerges onto it, so from here go to the mask store. Over here go on any menu, go ahead and save this in slot 1, so overwrite the save. Once you've overwritten the save, you want to open up your pause menu and then go to online jobs. So online jobs, go down to play job, go on to rockstar created, go on missions and start up a titan of a job. In the job all you need to do is go to any ammunition store. Inside of ammunition, go ahead and save this in slot 1, so overwrite the save once again, and then quit the job using your phone. Now when you load in, you want to go opposite you into ammunition or to a clothing store, up to you.
From here though, you need to equip an outfit that you have the trash vest on, if you have one. But it also works with the dock worker vest, uh, if you want to use that. Um, but if you do want a trash vest, I'll leave a link in the description on a video on how to get it. I did just do one recently. So if you want, you can just check on my channel for the recent one, or I'll leave it linked in the description if I remember. Uh, from here, go to online jobs, bookmarked. And then head down to missions and start up. It's a G thing, so you'll have to bookmark this. I'll leave a link to it in the description. On this menu here, you want to just set the clothing to player saved outfits and then invite anybody and start this up. From here, you want to scroll one to the right on owned outfit and then ready up. Now in the mission all you need to do is wait a few seconds, so just wait a little bit and then quit the job using your phone or open up your pause menu, go to Rockstar Creator and then from there you can start up a new online invite only session. Now when you load in, you want to go to any car, so it can be your own car or a street car. Register as an MC or CEO. Then sit inside of your car, you want to go to your MC or CEO style in your interaction menu. From here, switch one to the right on the style, and one back to the left. Exit your car, you'll notice the trash vest merges onto this outfit now, so from here, you can go save it. After you've it saved, feel free to add accessories like a rebreather, or a helmet, or both, or even masks and masks and a helmet if you want to do the telescope glitch, uh, you can do that. Also, if you want the orange bulletproof helmet on this outfit, uh, you can do the telescope glitch to merge it onto it. Um, and if I remember, I'll leave a link in the description on how to get the orange bulletproof helmet in the first place so you can merge it onto your other outfits. Anyway, that's this outfit done, so we'll move on to the next outfit now. Next up, I'm going to show you how to get a juggernaut outfit in GTA 5, so we'll get straight into doing this. So getting straight into the video, you want to come to a clothing store and then make your outfit how you want it so you can choose your pants, your shoes and also your gloves and then I'll show you what to do for the tops. So if you'd like the juggernaut armour over any t-shirt, all you need to do is go into utility vests and then equip number 43, so the peach plate carrier. This also works on certain hoodies as well. But if you do want some invisible arms with it, you want to go for the black vest or any vest that has a shirt underneath and a shirt you need to equip is the white band vest shirt, so you must equip this in order for it to work. Also feel free to choose your gloves, and then from here you want to go ahead and save this in slot number one. By the way, if you do want the IAA badge, I have a video on how to get it. Um, I'll leave that link in the description if I remember, but you don't have to use it for this outfit, especially since the juggernaut outfit will cover it. Anyway, once you've saved your outfit in slot number one, go down to outfits heist coveralls, and then equip any of the last four. Now go to the telescope on the pier. Over here, run by the telescope, spam right on the d-pad, you should be standing still, now open up your interaction menu, go ahead and equip the outfit you just saved, run away and you'll notice the gas mask merges onto it, so go to the mask store. At the mask store, just go ahead and save this in slot number one, so overwrite the save once again, and then open up your pause menu, go to online, head down to jobs, play job, rocks are created, then go on missions and start up a titan of a job. In the mission your arm should go invisible and you should also have the gas mask on your outfit so from here go to an ammunition store. If you don't have the gas mask or invisible arms on your outfit you will have to restart your game and try this again. 
Now inside the ammunition store, just go on any menu and then save this in slot 1, so overwrite the save once again. After you've done this, you can quit the job using your phone. Now the next step you want to do is you want to head over to the mask store. And by the way, what you'll need from here is you will need the ballistic equipment. So if you don't have this, you can get it on Warstock Cash and Carry. So just open up your phone, go to Warstock Cash and Carry, scroll down a bit, and you should see it on the left over here. A lot of you might already have it. So this is what you're going to need. I already have it purchased, so I don't need to buy it again. But if you don't have it unlocked here, sometimes it is locked, uh, you will have to unlock it through research in your bunker. So you can fast track the research uh, if you want to get it quicker. But from here, go to the mask store. So once you're at the mask store, you want to open up your interaction menu, go to your inventory, then go to the ballistic equipment services, and then just request it. Also, for this next part, you're going to need a lowdown vehicle, so uh, it doesn't have to be your own personal vehicle, it can be off the street. Just make sure it's a sports car that's low to the ground, and then wait for the ballistic equipment services to be dropped in front of you. Once they've been dropped, just get in your car and you want to push it to where I push it, which is just in between the mask store and the tops menu. Once you've done this, just get out of your car and you want to walk up to the tops menu until you get the option to press right on the D-pad at the top left of your screen. So you'll get it here. What you want to do is you want to walk into it and then press right on the D-pad. Now you should see that you've picked it up, but you're also on the menu. Just wait on the menu and you should get kicked off of the menu. So if you did it correctly, you should have the juggernaut armor now. Just to make sure it has worked fully, go to your map lip option, set the jobs to custom. You want to show the king of the hill jobs. Also, this works on all consoles and old gen as well. Um, so find this mission right here and start it up from your map. In this menu, just go on to confirm settings and if you have the juggernaut armor outfit here, that means it has worked. If it is your own personal outfit, uh, then it hasn't worked and you'll have to restart your game and try this part again. But if it did work, just quit the job. Now just wait a bit, after some time the juggernaut armor should disappear and you should have some sort of standard outfit. As you can see here, it went to some sort of default outfit, so just register as an MC or CEO. Go to your CEO or MC styles, which one to the right, then one back to the left. You'll notice you get the juggernaut armor again, so from here go to online jobs, play job, go on to bookmarked, head down to missions and startup, it's a G thing. So this mission you're going to need to bookmark, I'll leave a link to it in the description though for you to bookmark on Social Club. In this menu just set the clothing to player saved outfits and then invite anyone and start this up. Now in this menu here scroll one to the right on owned outfit and then ready up. In the job, you just want to wait a little bit and then quit the job using your phone or open up your pause menu and go to Rockstar Creator. From there, in that menu, you can start up a new online invite only session. When you spawn in, just register as an MC or CEO, uh, if you haven't already, and then go and sit inside of any car, then go to your MC or CEO styles, which one to the right, then one back to the left. Exit your car, you'll notice you get the juggernaut armor on your outfit now. And this juggernaut armor and the invisible arms, they will stick, so you don't have to worry about them reappearing or disappearing. Um, and you can go ahead and save this in a clothing store. Now, I do just want to let you guys know, sometimes what can happen is this can happen when the juggernaut armor doesn't merge onto your outfit properly. 
If this happens, just go back into your car, go to your CEO or MC style, switch one to the right, one back to the left again, and this time it will merge onto it. So I showed this just in case that does happen to you, uh, but regardless, it still works. And there you go, once you have saved the outfit, you can just customize it from here if you want to. Anyway, that's it done, so on to the next outfit. The next outfit is going to be the Tan Joggers outfit from the thumbnail. It is with the white ripped shirt, so you want to come to this clothing store on the map. And you want to open up your interaction menu, set your spawn location to last location, or map blip options, and you want to set the stunt races to custom or show. And then from here, you want to go up and register as a CEO. So make sure you register. And then go to your style, switch all, all the way over to the Warlord outfit. And once you have it equipped, go on the blue circle and press right on the D-pad. In this menu here, you just want to start it up. Now in the first menu here, hit confirm and continue. In the second menu, wait a little bit and then quit the job. Once you spawn back in, you want to go into the clothing store, go onto any menu, and then wait a little bit until you get kicked off of the menu. From here, you just want to open up your interaction menu, retire from your CEO, head over to shoes, go onto sports shoes and equip the all white sports shoes, so number 28. From here just remove any accessories on your outfit and then you want to head over to tops, take off this jacket and then head down to the rolled sleeve t-shirts. Then you just want to go ahead and equip the beige rolled tee at the bottom. So this one here, the beige rolled tee. After you have this, go down to utility vests. Actually before you do so, go to scarves and then equip the tan desert scarf. Also go down to gloves and equip the white cotton gloves. So up here, the white cotton gloves. And after you have these, you then want to go to utility vests on tops. Then just equip the peach plate carrier, so number 43. The peach plate carrier, number 43. This one here. And then go ahead and save this in slot number one. So make sure it is slot one. Now once it is saved, go down to Outfits, Heist, Coveralls, equip any of the last four, so any of these, with a gas mask. And then go to the telescope on the pier. Over here, run by the telescope, spam right on the D-pad. You should be standing still, so open up your interaction menu and then equip the outfit we just made and saved. Run away, the gas mask should merge on, so from here, go to the, the mask store. Over here, just go onto any menu and then save this outfit in slot number one, so overwrite the save. And once you have done so, you can just back out of this menu and then you want to open up your pause menu. So just open up your pause menu, go to online, go to jobs, you want to go onto play job, rockstar created, and then go to missions and start up a titan of a job. Once you load into the job, all you want to do is head over to any ammunition store in the mission. And then in the ammunition store, you just want to go ahead, press right D-pad on any menu and save this in slot number one. So overwrite the save. And after you've done so, you can quit the job using your phone.
Now, once you have loaded back in, you want to go opposite you into the ammunition store. Inside of ammunition, go on to the top section. You want to head down to vests and equip any vest that lets you equip a shirt underneath. So just go for the black vest, it doesn't really matter which one. But once you have this, what does matter is you only go on vest shirts and equip the white band vest shirt. So this one here. And after you do have this, back out of this menu, open up your pause menu, go to online, jobs, play job, go on to bookmarked this time, then go down to uh, book, yeah, so go on bookmarked, then go down to missions and start, it's a G thing. So I'll leave the link to this in the description for you to bookmark. Now in this menu here, set the clothing to player saved outfits and then invite anyone and start this up. Once you load into this menu here, scroll one to the right and then ready up. Inside of the mission, just wait a little bit, so a few seconds, and then either quit the job using your phone, or open up your pause menu and start Rockstar Creator, and then go to an online invite only session. Once you load in and you spawn in on foot, you want to go to any car, so it can be a street car or your own car. Just make sure it isn't a motorbike. But go to a car and then you want to make sure you register as an MC or a CEO. So once you've found a car, just go and sit inside, but make sure you're an MC or CEO before you sit inside. And then go to your management, your style, switch one to the right, then one back to the left. Exit the car, you'll notice you get this outfit now, so go ahead and save it. And there you go, you have it saved, but now I'm going to show you how to add the logo onto the t-shirt. So go ahead and find this black BITCH t-shirt. Make sure you have it purchased, but make sure you equip this tan outfit here. And then head over to your apartment wardrobe. Once you're at your wardrobe, you want to go to tops and head down to designer t-shirts. Hover over the one we just purchased. So this one here, hover over it for about 10 seconds. So 5 to 10 seconds. Uh, just wait and hover over it. But once you have waited, all you want to do is you want to end up opening up your pause menu. And from here, just go to online and head down to crews, go onto leaderboard, hover over any of the crews and then hit view members. So it can be absolutely any, and then just join any member. You should load in with this uh, logo on your t-shirt now. Now if it didn't load in with the logo, uh, just keep retrying until it does. But yeah, as you can see it has loaded in here. But yeah, that's the outfit done, so that's all the outfits for this video. I hope you did enjoy them. If you did, a like would be much appreciated. Also feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. That's all up to you though, but if you made it this far into the video, comment down below that you made it to the end, and I'll try and heart your comment. But thank you for watching, have an awesome day or night, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.